Hello everyone, I am Big Chen from IG Delft. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Jupyter Notebook to run Python code. In this video, I will use a Python 3 tutorial Jupyter Notebooks by Dr. Hans van der Quast as an example. You can access these notebooks from a GitHub repository. On the GitHub repository site, click on the green code button. Select download zip to save all the files in the repository to your computer. And then unzip or extract the compressed file in the folder. In the extracted folder, there are several files with the IPYNB extension, which is IPython Notebooks. To start Jupyter Notebook from Anaconda Prompt. In the Anaconda Prompt window, change to the folder containing the notebook using cd command, as you can see here. Then use a command line Jupyter Notebook to start the program. Jupyter Notebook will be opened in your default web browser at the local host on your computer. Here under the Files tab, you will find the list of all the notebooks in the folder. You can create a new notebook by clicking at the New button and then select Python 3. The Upload button next to it is to upload files from the computer to this folder. Click on the notebook in the list to open it. The notebook will be loading in a new tab and connecting with a Python kernel, which is the computational engine that executes the Python code contained in a notebook document. Now the kernel is ready and its status shown here as idle, which means it is not executing anything at the moment. In the home tab, you will see that the notebook icon color is green, which means a kernel is currently active in this notebook. If you want to shut down the kernel, tick on the selection box next to the notebook, then select shut down. You can also do this in the notebook tab by opening the kernel in the menu bar, then selecting shut down. And now we will look into this notebook. The element of Jupyter Notebook is a cell. It can be a text, text with image or Python code. For example, this first cell type is Markdown, which contains only text. Here it says to type a line of command in the cell below, which is a code type of cell. Now we will try to type in this cell below here, the command line print hello world. To run the Python code in this cell, we can click on the run button on the toolbar or select run cells in the cell drop-down list on the menu bar. Using the keyboards, we can also press shift enter to execute the command lines in this cell. Here we see the output of the code shown below the code cell, which is the string hello world. On the toolbar, there are also buttons to cut, copy, and paste cells. You can also move the position of the cell up and down in the notebook document. The number next to each code cell indicates the order in which the code was executed. For example, this cell is a copy of the cell above, but it was executed after, so its number is 2. You can add an empty code cell by clicking the plus button. Now I will run a while through command to show how to continuously print the line hello world. As you can see in the output box below the code cell, Python is printing the lines and the kernel is now busy. The cell running is indicated by the star symbol in the bracket. To stop Python kernel from executing, select the running cell. Then choose interrupt kernel button. 
the kernel status is now idle again and the cell number become 3. And in the output, it shows keyboard interrupt error. When the output is very long, you can toggle to hide it with a double click in the space next to it. You can also disable or enable scrolling with a click. To stop Jupyter Notebook program, make sure you save all your results in the notebook, then shut down all active kernels. Close the notebook tab and choose quit on the home tab.